this video I want to share something very personal with you. It's my journey to early retirement at the age of 44 and the three reasons why I arrived at that decision. These three reasons played a crucial role in making my mind up to retire. All three reasons were important to me but number three was the big one so stick around to the end of the video and I'll reveal the thing that really cemented my decision for me. It wasn't an overnight decision. There were a few pivotal events that made me step away from work a lot earlier than most people would do. The first of these factors was work related. I'll give you a little bit of the story of my work. I had quite a few jobs in my late teens and my early 20s and by the time I was 22 I wasn't sure what I was going to do. But eventually I fell into the recruitment sector as a trainee recruitment consultant and it was there that I found my real vocation. I spent the next eight years working for a company and climbing the corporate ladder into a management position. But I'd always yearned to have my own business. That reality came into being when I was 30. I left my corporate job and started my own recruitment agency as a partner with another chap called Adrian. It was a real roller coaster ride. Me and Adrian worked really hard to build the business starting with just the two of us from the kitchen table and eventually we managed to build a really nice small business which peaked at about 70 employees by the late 1990s but by the early 2000s the business had started to stagnate we had quite a few years of zero growth and then we started to decline and under the pressure of owning our own business my relationship with Adrian started to suffer we were no longer the brothers in arms that we saw ourselves as and as I approached 40 years of age I won't lie to you I was tired tired of the hustle tired of the long hours tired of arguments with Adrian and I couldn't see any way out at the time then out of the blue we received an approach from a company similar to ourselves with offices in a different city who were working in the same sector as us. They proposed that we merged. They were a business that were founded by two partners as well. So it seemed like quite a good fit. Me and Adrian teaming up with Paul and David to form a new company. And that's what we did in 2003. When we set the company up, we planned on building the business over a five year period and hopefully being able to exit at some point as we approached 50 years of age. But only one year after we'd merged, we were approached by a larger company who were interested in buying us. In our industry, it was quite common for businesses to grow by acquiring other businesses. And that's what the strategy was for this particular business that were interested in buying us. We didn't need to think about it much. We snapped their hand off. The reason for that is that all four of us by then were a bit tired. The merger hadn't really worked out as we'd hoped and all four of us knew it was time for change. So we accepted the offer. Within a year, the business was sold and the four of us signed on for 12 months with the new owner to aid with the transition. Now I didn't last long. It wasn't for me working in a large corporate environment. Too many politics. Plus I was used to being my own boss. So I managed to negotiate an early release from my contract and left the company in May 2005. That was the date that I considered myself officially retired. The second thing that played a major part in my decision to retire was that I'd lost my father a year earlier in the February. He was only 74 and he died of cancer after a short illness. And it had a really devastating effect on me. I'm an only child. I was very close to him. Even though I left home and got married when I was 24, we lived nearby in the next village and I saw a lot of my dad. We were very close. We used to play golf every week. We went to the pub together on a regular basis. We went on family holidays together. Losing him was a massive blow. And it happened just before the company who bought us approached us. So when they approached us, I wasn't in the best state of mind. My mental health was suffering. I wasn't particularly enjoying the merger. So the fact that somebody wanted to buy us, for me, was just a no-brainer. I wanted to do it. And I was just pleased that my business partners wanted to do it as well. The one thing losing my dad made me realise is that time is very precious. You have no guarantees about your own health or the health of your family. As I mentioned earlier, my original retirement plan was to retire around 50 or maybe 55. And at that point, I thought my dad would still be around. He was a very active individual, very athletic. I didn't for one minute think that he'd pass away at age 74. I thought he'd go on till he was 100. And I envisaged that we would spend a lot of time together after I'd retired. Part of the reason I picked 50 as a rough retirement date was I figured he'd still be in pretty good health and we'd be able to play a lot of golf together. But it wasn't to be. 
but it did make me realize that you've got to put your family first. So that's what I did. I left the corporate world and the world of full-time work to put my family first. But there is a major reason why I did that, and that's the story of my family. Which brings me on to my third reason for retiring at 44. And that reason is prioritizing your family. My wife and I struggled for years to start a family. We were married at 24, and we decided to have children when we were 30. And it didn't quite go to plan. My wife had quite a few problems, miscarriages, an ectopic pregnancy, and no sign of the baby that we both wanted. We planned to have IVF treatment, and then out of the blue, my wife became pregnant before we started the IVF treatment. And we were finally blessed with a child, a son, after 13 years of marriage. After what happened with my dad, I knew I couldn't miss the opportunity to spend time with my son, who when my father died would be five years of age. So after retiring, I decided to be a stay-at-home dad. My son would be six at the time. I wanted to do all the things that I couldn't do when I had my own business because I was away all the time. I was always working long hours. I wanted to see him in the school play. I wanted to see him play cricket and rugby. I wanted to be there for him. I wanted to do the school run. These were all things that I couldn't really make time for when I was working hard in my business. It was 100% the right decision. The adventures we have had and the relationship I now have with my son, who's 25, justify that decision. I'm so glad I didn't wait until my 50s or even 60s before deciding to retire. I would have missed out on so many things. I have no regrets about wanting to spend more time with my family. This was all made possible because the sale of the business brought financial stability. It allowed me to clear debts, pay off my mortgage and provided a cushion to live on. So it made early retirement feasible. And more importantly, it gave me time to spend with the people I love, seeing the world and doing things that brought us joy. That's my story. It's about change, loss and seizing the opportunity and ultimately the profound realisation about what truly matters. Sure, early retirement wasn't a bed of roses and I'll explore that in my videos but retiring at 44 was definitely the best thing for me to do and if I had my time again I'd do it all exactly the same. If you're contemplating early retirement or you're just trying to figure things out, I hope my journey gives you some encouragement. And if you watch my videos, hopefully it'll give you some insights as to what life is like after you've retired. Have you faced a turning point in your life? One that reshaped your future? I'd love to hear about it. Please share it in the comments. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, remember to make every second count.